Hello and welcome to our summer series. We are joined today by the head field hockey coach here at Lancashire Bible College, Becky Elliott. My name is Zach Freeman, and this is part of our Field Hockey Day. You can find all the information here on uh, lbcchargers.com, and as well as this will be up on our YouTube page as well. Becky, how are you doing? Doing all right. Good to be on campus. <laughs> That's right. Uh, how was the spring? Very different, obviously. No tradi non-traditional season, no field hockey. How is everyone doing? Um, they're doing well. I actually just saw three of the girls yesterday. Um, it was exciting to actually see them in person. I know they just recently got together this weekend, a couple of them, and played uh, locally. So it's, it's good to hear that they're able to get out and connect. Um, the spring was interesting, uh, you know, as professors here, like learning how to do stuff online. We also had to learn to do stuff online um, through spring season. We did some Zoom meetings, um, did FaceTime one-on-ones. Uh, they had activities to do. We did a lot of challenges, um, like team challenges. The, uh, luckily, like the USA Field Hockey and other field hockey were putting out challenges, like obstacle course challenge, make an obstacle course. So okay. we would challenge our, each other and they'd make an obstacle course or, you know, we'd have a challenge of just dribble, like we do uh, ball handling boxes, they did that. So a lot of little things like that just to try to stay connected and to do some hockey. But it was tough because we weren't together and, Absolutely. you know, that team bonding and, the, and even this, like the skills, like the spring is a great time to work on some individual skills where you get to do that so was, yeah hope that they got a stick and ball and we're working <laughs> like it <laughs> that was so many to that point with so many younger players and people who may be a couple players who are newer to the to the game as well uh that spring season like you said is really where you you do have that one-on-one -on -one time you're not implementing the offense you're not worried about the next opponent you can actually focus on yes. that player how does that work now with the boss that you can't be with them, you're just kind of encouraging them to do those things on their own and maybe guide as much as you can? We are. And I'm trying to encourage them too. There's several that are in groups together near each other. Um, like uh, like I said, the group that I was with yesterday, they're up in Perry County, Juniata County area. So, you know, them, they, they get together. And okay. then the ones that are around Lancaster County get together. I mean, unfortunately, we have some that are a little farther away. New Jersey's a little bit too far, but... Um, you know, trying to encourage them to just uh, whatever you can do, what hockey can do, and it's harder now because we still do that. Every summer we're encouraging them, hey, get involved and play, but there's nowhere to play right now. So it has been a little tough with that. Um, I know one thing going into the spring season that was good is they played in a league this this winter okay. um, together, which, uh, you know, any hockey is good hockey. So I know the girls really benefited um, from doing that. So that's where it was disappointing the spring because we were going to have almost 11 girls. I think we were going to have 11 girls this spring to be able to work with, and you right. know, so. But everybody's in that boat. So. That's correct. And uh, furthermore, we kind of talked earlier about some recruits that are coming in. Very excited for them to join uh, the program as well. Yes, and they're all um, experienced recruits. They've played club ball. They played for their high school. Um, we have you know one that was the LLE you know goalie champion this year you know so that's exciting we have a goalie coming in we have one from every position so we have a goalie um the one girl from cedar crest she can play midfield she can also play forward and then we have a girl that's a true forward so um so i'm really excited uh with the ability that's coming in they will make an immediate impact on our team so that's exciting that's excellent mm -hmm. this season uh full schedule of games currently anyway and yes. uh, continued play in the colonial states out of the conference mm -hmm. we play in the csac uh, for field hockey, uh, the only sport that does that uh, uh, here at LBC. What do you like on the schedule? Obviously, you created the schedule. What are the challenges that you've mixed in there? Uh, potentially, there's some back-to-backs just to get used to that. And then when you get into conference play, you've mixed in some uh, tougher non-conference foes as well through there. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited because with my experience, I, like the, a lot of the schools I, I know and I've mm -hmm. you know played against them. So um, continuing to play against you know Stevenson, which are we at their level yet? No, but I also I know the coach and I know they were at one point. A struggling program and they've come a long way so you know that's a good relationship to continue fostering um, we're gonna play Swarthmore this year which is a new school a uh, little hesitant but uh, the head coach actually her family are LBC alum and okay. so we're excited to make that connection with Swarthmore um, we're starting off with Newman Newman last year that game was probably one of their best games it was a heartbreaker we were so close to being them especially the year before with the 34 defensive corners um, the staff for even it was a really good game and we're, it's our home opener so that one's one that we're really excited to play um, and then we're playing Houghton this year like that was one team that you know I've connected with the head coach we wanted to play them they are not close 
So right. <laughs> you have to figure out a way to do that. So <laughs> that's going to be our New York trip back to back. We'll play Houghton, and then the next day we'll play Elmira, and then we'll play down. We're actually playing at EMU this year, Labor Day weekend, and Southern Virginia. So that's going to be a good um, start, a weekend starter for us. I think Absolutely. I think the first three games are some definitely some games that are going to be competitive and some good games. So, yeah. Excellent. Uh, one of the features we're doing here uh, for the summer series is we're kind of recapping some games from last year and then doing a, a historical game as well. Uh, we'll start with the two games from last year, the first one being the uh, first victory since we brought field hockey back. It was a 2 nothing win over Sweetbriar, 0-0 uh, zero, zero at half, then two early goals in the second half. What do you remember from that day? I know it was a game we talked about, hey, this could be the one kind of thing, because we were close, it was even. There was an even game as well that day as well, uh, too. But uh, what do you remember from that day? Um, I remember think, uh, I, I remember the beginning because la the year before we played them three times mm -hmm. uh, and I knew we could have beaten them all three times and it was uh, a little frustrating that we didn't right. so this was one of those games that um, you know as a coach we're like if, you know if we don't win this game this is not good <laughs> but uh, I just knew from the start we were in control uh, we were passing really well um, you know, we had, Macy was controlling the ball in the middle, we were getting shots on goal, it's funny because I just watched this recently and they were, they, the score could have been a lot higher. We had a lot of chances, we had a lot of corners, um, Corinne just missed a couple, Nina tipped one, I think Corinne's one that tipped one and went and almost hit a car. Uh, over it, yeah, and, and Nino almost had one with a tip, so it was really, it was really close. So then when we finally hit that scoreboard, it was like, okay, we're yeah. we're good, we're good. And then that second goal was just it was a little icing on the cake. So it was, <laughs> it was, yeah. The girls really enjoyed that game. They do ask about playing them every year. You know, they wanted yeah. to play them this year. I'm like, sorry, they're not on our schedule. So I think four times in the last two years is right. enough. For we'll right wait now. Wait a while. Yes. <laughs> uh, the other game is uh, our first CSAC victory from last year, uh, a five-one victory over Grand mm -hmm. Uh, we were winning 3 nothing. added some more goals in the second half. Uh, what was it like to, I don't want to say breeze to a victory, but feel comfortable for a, a majority of the second half that we were going to win? It felt very good. <laughs> <laughs> um, and we could concentrate on some other things, like sure. different movement, let's try some different corners. I think Blessing had two goals in a corner. Mm -hmm. um, Macy had a stroke, which was really cool to be able to have an opportunity to, mm -hmm. you know, to have a stroke. Um, but I know we were able to just work on some other things, which, you know, a lot of times when you're down or, you know, you're just trying to stay, <laughs> trying to stay alive, trying to just make sure we're doing the fundamentals. Um, but it was, it was nice. It was just, it really was a good feeling that we didn't have to stress. Sure. <laughs> we felt the same way. Yes. 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 And it was exciting for the girls. Um, yeah. when, when you're going through the growing stages and you are the one that continues to get pummeled, which right. you know is going to come. It's nice to finally not have to worry about that and actually maybe be the team that has the control. So that was it was a really good feeling. Excellent. They were really excited about that. Excellent. Yes. Uh, now we got the two wins out of the way. The historical game we're going to do <laughs> is our first ever game when we brought Gulagi back. So this is August 31st, 2018 at Roanoke. Uh, we have only 10 players. Nine. Nine players. Uh, new person in goal. And, uh, okay, go, no. Uh, you, you've played in a lot of big games when you were a player at Lebanon Valley, uh, NCAA games, large games. What, what did it feel like to start a program and, okay, you nine, go. <laughs> I don't know if the girls were more nervous or I was more nervous. Um, the, the Roanoke's beautiful, so that does help, and the coach was very understanding with us starting a new program. Um, so, but it was, it, <laughs> It's funny when you go see them line up, mm -hmm. and we have our nine, and they have their 28. Um, so I was like, hmm. Uh, it was a little like Bad News Bears concept, if anybody remembers that <laughs> reference. Um, but it was it was definitely daunting. It was hot, because it's Virginia. Um, but they did as well as they could have been expected. Um, you know, it, it was tough. Annie did phenomenal in cage, um, you know, and, it's it's a great story. Like we talk about the original nine, you know, being there, and those were the original nine that started this program. You know, they're proud of it. We've referenced it before in the past. Just recently, we referenced it with uh, Christina and Corinne graduating. You know, they were original nine. So 
it was very daunting, but I think it was just also a perspective. Like we knew where we were going with this. Like we understood, you know, what the ultimate goal is and that right now we're just, we're building and it's about surviving and having fun and learning. So, Absolutely. yes, I will say that had we not played that game, we probably would have beaten Sweetwater the next day, but that's okay, <laughs> you know. So, but uh, yeah, it was definitely, I have a picture that I took of them when they were lined up and it's just, okay. it's, it's very, it's, entertaining to think like oh my <laughs> yes so that was that that was excellent. good thank excellent. you excellent before we let you go uh your camp this summer is still scheduled yes. for mid-july you want to quickly want to plug yes that? absolutely as soon as lancaster county goes green um which we're hoping we'll do that in the next week or two mm -hmm. we have a camp july 12th through 14th it's an overnight camp for 7th through 12th graders with about seven sessions um and we're gonna we have coaches and one of my assistant coaches um zach's wife's gonna help coach and a couple other coaches, a uh, great opportunity to come and just, we're gonna do a lot of skills. Um, we usually do offensive, defensive, we'll do some circle skills, and we'll also have competition. So it's gonna be a good time to just finally get out and play some hockey and a beautiful turf. So hopefully if you're interested, you know, go on the website, there's a link on the website and love to have you. Absolutely, and again, that's July 12th through the 14th? July 12th through the 14th, yep. Awesome. And there's a few other camps as well that are still scheduled for July. A lot of them still are, uh, so make sure you check out the camp page at lbcchargers.com. Uh, that's going to do it for today's interview with uh, Head Coach Becky Elliott, so I appreciate you uh, joining us. Yep. Obviously, we hope to see you in the fall and in yes. August and things like that. Um, you can stay up to date on everything at lbcchargers.com and on our social media pages at LBC Athletics. Thanks to my sons again for filming. Uh, thanks for laughing in the background. And uh, we'll see you next time with the Women's Volleyball uh, Day here on our LBC 2020 Summer Series. Go Chargers, go!